hydroxychloroquine have been used for the treatment of malaria and for the treatment of immunological diseases, being known as disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Nowadays, the potential use of these compounds is growing every day. Therefore, we highlighted all this in our review article. The recent title, The Role of Chloroquine and Hydroxychloroquine in Immune Regulation and Diseases. This review was made possible with the joint effort of researchers from the Central University of Venezuela. These are the molecular structures of chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, and the only difference between them is the hydroxyl group. They are known as four aminoquinolines. They have a flat aromatic backbone and a side chain with basic properties. These molecules enter into cells and accumulate into lysosomes and endosomes, get protonated and get trapped. Increasing the cellular pH, consequently, the enzymes won't work properly. This is called the lysosomotropic effect. And in using all the effects we show here, in our review, you can find the cellular and the molecular mechanism of action of these compounds, detailed for every kind of cell. Other mechanism of actions include the blockade of the toll-like receptors and the regulation of apoptosis and autophagy. They have been used as monotherapy or combined with other drugs. They have been used for the treatment of immunological diseases, but also as antiviral and anti-tumor agents. And we also included a table of clinical trials for treatment of cancer. These drugs may lead to the discovery of new agents obtained by synthetic modifications, the discovery of new targets or modifications combinations. Thanks to Benton Science Publishers.